Welcome to the Holler. This is a playtest of the Baden Mountain Tunnel, which is a savage tale from the core book. Holler is a folk horror dark fantasy version of Appalachia. The Holler is sealed off from the rest of the world. Uh, its people are ruled over by robber baron industrialists, whom they call uh, the big boys. Some folks call them that with affection. Some folks call them that with derision. Um, folks seem to have a hard time remembering how long the Holler has been this way or what it was like before the big boys arrived. Uh, most holler folks work in mines, mills, or logging camps and live in company towns. The big boys control nearly every facet of their existence. And to top it off, there's a toxic fog that creeps around called the blight, and the landscape is filled with demons, paints, and mutated cryptids. The adventure we're playing tonight follows a fledgling coalition of holler residents who happen to live outside the big boys industrial system. Uh, they may have worked for them at one point, but they don't work for them any longer. Uh, they're working together to strike back against the big boys power. They have been tasked by the coalition's leader, Ella Mae Hawkins, who is sort of a spitfire and a folk balladeer with blowing up a newly constructed railroad tunnel. This is a massive project the big boys have been involved with for the last three months, and none of these folks are explosive or detonative experts, but this is still their job. Ella May feels like it would make sort of a huge impact on the Holler residents if they saw this project tampered with in some way, even if it's not a full tunnel collapse. Anything could spark a bit of resistance among the other people. Um, so there's, she just wants them to interfere. Right. We're going to start this adventure in the Sootstone Mountains, which is one of the more blighted parts of the Holler landscape. I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get in game. Um, but let's introduce the players and hear a little bit about who they're playing. Uh, first off is Daryl Hayhurst as Jubilee Skaggs. Yeah, I'm Jubilee Skaggs. I'm the uh, bluegrass picker. I'll do a lot of picking and a lot of grinning, playing my banjo to help people out. Uh, he's a kind of happy-go-lucky type. Um, he's not really sure the dynamite's going to be the solution to all this, but he's got a big heart and he wants to make sure that nobody gets hurt, either his friends or, you know, any innocents that might get caught, you know, in the crossfire. So he's definitely going to do his best to uh, keep everything a little bit lighter and happier and, and if he can, get out of the holler because this place is a little dreary for his taste. <laughs> all right. Uh, Tracy Sizemore is playing Elijah Butler, who is a miner. Yes, uh, Elijah uh, used to work for the company Man in the Mines and uh, uh, barely survived a, uh, an explosion, but my brother and a few of my friends did not survive that explosion. And um, I have sort of been marked by this experience and uh, I've spent a lot of my time deep in the mm -hmm. mines and uh, I've sort of come out of it a pretty fatalistic kind of person. Like, I'm going to die, you're going to die, we all got to go someday, you know. Might as well see if we can take a few company men with us. So the idea of, of you know, uh, leveraging some explosives for the, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a way that, that is against the company men, I'm all on board for that. And um, I'm African American, I'm a big guy, and uh, usually nobody messes with me. Thanks, Tracy slash Elijah. Uh, Jessica Rogers is playing Minnie Mae Fugate, who is a gouger. Yes, um, I like to call her the lean, mean fighting machine because she's small, but she prefers to talk with her fists. Um, she has a really short temper. Uh, she, she's been on her own since she was 15. Um, ever since then, she's kind of been going around the fighting circles earning money by, you know, kicking butt and taking names. Um, she's short. She's uh, very androgynous. She has short black hair, um, but she's tough as nails. All right. Thank you, Jessica. And Shane Hensley is going to be playing Boone Filch, a moonshiner. Boone <laughs> Filch. <laughs> you know, little lady, what would make you tougher in your next fight would be a jar of my special white lightning. <laughs> now, I make it up in the hills, because by God, ain't nobody going to tell me what I can make, where I can sell it. 
<laughs> but I do have some special brew that might be able to help us out if we get in a pinch. All right, thank you, Shay. <laughs> um, so we're going to start in the Sutstall Mountains, right outside of Ed Poovey's Flea Market and Good Time Emporium. You guys have gathered some intelligence that Ed is a man who knows a lot of shady characters. You're shady characters. He has, like, he runs a fencing operation. Uh, he trades in a lot of stuff that you can't get in a company store. And he lives outside the big boy system, too. He lives back in a sort of remote part of uh, the Sootstone Mountains. It's not too far from where the Baden Mountain Tunnel is being built. And so you're sort of standing outside the perimeter of, of Ed's flea market. Uh, dusk is falling. Um, mm -hmm. It's getting dark. You see some black clouds sort of lilting across the sky, across the moonlight. But the blight's not so bad here uh, that it's interfering with, like, your breathing <laughs> or your energy levels. Light, light. At, at That's just point, rheumatism. Right? That's just for rheumatism, right? <laughs> um, he's, got, he's warming himself over a little trash can fire in the middle of the junkyard. Uh, you see junk cars off to the left. Um, you see, looks like, nice cache of uh, farming implements off to the right. His house sort of sits in the middle of the junkyard. Um, you've heard that he's sort of a, a taciturn, surly character. Uh, he hasn't seen you out there yet you're just sort of out there in, in the shadows and he's just sort of wandering around his, his trash can fire so what do you want to do what and real quick is this is his place near our objective or is it farther away it's pretty close to the objective it's it's sort of like back through some some from pretty rough country but maybe just two and a half miles from the objective okay. so great really close really close Tim, have I sold him shine before? That's highly possible. <laughs> I think maybe you guys had a had a deal at some point. I'm not sure how how it went. I mean, it went bad, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I do have a a feud with another upstart moonshiner in these parts, and I'm wondering which side of the fence Mister Poovy likes to drink his shine on, mine okay. or the other. Okay. Um, are you going to call out to him? Are you going to talk to him? Um, do you want me to decide if I'm <laughs> if he's on my side? <laughs> well, you don't really know. Like, are you calling him over? We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna find out. No, I'll wait a bit since I've got this feud going on. I'll let somebody else initiate. Well, I'll okay. tell you what. We're not. It's not going to happen all by itself. So let's go. <laughs> I think I'll alert. I'll, I'll announce our presence with the mouth harp. What the hell are you doing? That's our arrival. We are here. That's great. And I'll great. take a bow. You know, me and you so, ought to talk about making a ditty for my shine. So this is this is quite an entrance, right? So uh, here comes Jubilee with the mouth harp. You're following in behind him. Uh, Ed's just sort of walking around his fire he looks up he eyes y'all i see uh lots of motley assemblages come through here it's pretty motley assemblage who is disturbing my peace this evening hey what? you ed poovy i mean can't you didn't you see the sign painted out front ed poovy's flea market in well, good time in porium sure i have a big sign to fit that all on it <laughs> All right, you're Ed Poovy then. Found it. <laughs> well, we are the Motley Crew, <laughs> known collectively as. That was our 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 entrance theme. You're welcome, sir. Are are, are his wares them. some near somewhere nearby, Tim? They are the, around. It's There's all the trash around, around us. Yeah, it's all the trash <laughs> around There's us. There's a lot. Right. There's a so lot. while you guys are talking, I'm actually going to look through it and see if he's already selling somebody else's shine. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, that's beautiful. Okay, so you're looking around, Boom, and uh, you find a little wheelbarrow off in the corner uh, near the farming implements. There are like six, seven flasks there. 
it looks like that's probably he's probably moving somebody else's product so you okay. ascertain that right off i'll let the others get started and then I, i've got a pitch <laughs> so you're either gonna let us waste our time and ruin it or <laughs> <laughs> bingo <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll doff my hat and, and say that, well, seeing as how you're a, a businessman, we've, of course, come not to waste your time, but to do some business, good sir. What kind of business y'all y'all interested in? Well, dynamite. Yeah, we're looking for some provisions. Dynamite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I usually don't ask too many questions of the folks who, who wander through here. But they usually don't ask for dynamite either. Right? Well, if they need know, another goat or some I, chickens. I'm, I'm not a subtle a man. <laughs> 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 not, a, not a subtle person over here. So, yeah. No, we're, uh, we're uh, looking to strike out on our own. You know, maybe do something, uh, some mining without the big boys knowing anything about it. And, you know, as our miner here can attest, it's pretty hard to get through that rock without a little bit of dynamite. It is hard, and you know what? We, as a startup crew here, we always remember who a helped us out. A motley startup crew. That's right. Who helped us out when we when we were starting out? We we will remember the, those those people. Uh, so roll persuasion on that jubilee. But don't yet. Yeah, let me support you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I think. And yeah. by support, he means. <laughs> All right. So he's he's thinking that he hasn't. This is like a radical idea to him. He's never heard of somebody's like we're just going to go wildcat mining and strike out on our own, <laughs> right? Uh, I'm you want to get on the ground floor of this? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's where we'll be when the cave-in happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be well under the ground floor for that. <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around the corner with one of the flasks from the wheelbarrow in my hand, okay. and I'm gonna say, Virgil Mullins, poor old Virgil. I believe this is the very hooch he was drinking. What struck him blind? That's a blind making hooch, you say? Well, you know what a bad batch of Sean will do to somebody, and you know, uh, they can do lots of different things. Well, striking you blind is one of them, striking and I blind would is what? sure hate. For the big boys to find out you crippled one of their workers. Listen, that ain't my shot. I don't make shot. But you sell it. And I think you know who they're going to hold responsible. You know who shine this is? Who's is it? Mark on it? That's Color Holmes. Shine. Color Holmes? Yeah. You ever had any run-ins with him? Have I? <laughs> so to you. <laughs> That side whining son of a bitch. <laughs> I guarantee it. I'm going to pop open the top and I'm going to pour it on the ground. This here will kill you. Let's not be hasty. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm, I'm not opposed to saying that's just some fair to Midland shine. Oh, it's worse than that. It's fair to Midland. I don't think it's going to poison. But my boys lay Here, there. try this. What? I'm going to give them a, a hit on my personal shine. <laughs> Okay, he takes a little, takes a little sip on it. Um, this is the good stuff. Oh, this is the good stuff. Okay, yeah. yeah. This is he swishes stash. it around. He he sniffs it a little first, swishes it around, knocks it down real quick. Now I don't know how it works just yet, Tim, since I think some of this is still in development. But right. if it's the kind where I get to 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 boost a trait of his, I'm yes. going to boost his vigor. Okay, I'm going to make him feel hale and hearty. Or okay, so we, his we're mind. Roll. <laughs> I'm making this. This could change, but I'm making this a, a spirit roll, red pooby here. Okay. And uh, all right, so he's going to get the boost that you want to give him, right? And it was his. Uh, his, uh, his spirit, uh, right? Now I'm oh, going to yeah. dance a little jig. <laughs> yeah. Come well, on, dance with me. me. Yeah, well, go okay. nice so playing. Do, 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 do. I'll play White Lightning. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? So, our support will be Daryl Performance and me thievery. <laughs> okay. And I think I was attempting persuasion, but I don't you know. Were. You were attempting <laughs> Well, here's your support roll from me. Well, so actually, before you roll yours, oh. I've got the edge that lets me support two different people. Ooh. Work the room. 
my performance. Love it. So let me help you and Tracy. Okay. So let's banjo that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be plus one to you, Shane. And plus one to you, Tracy. All right, then. <laughs> that's a that's a catchy little ditty you got there. I'm surprised <laughs> since I actually gave him my good stuff, what skill should I have, have used there, you think, Tim? Would that be my repair? Yeah, you would have made the batch ahead of time and we would have known what it was as a known quantity. You okay. Need a little bit of time and some well, materials to make a batch. But okay. you, I gave you two good slugs, right? Yeah. So well, there's it's one already working at that level, right? So <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that can boost his vigor, and it looks like we won't we got, boost his smarts. You know, don't want to boost his smarts. <laughs> no, 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 we don't want that. <laughs> so, Elijah, you want to roll performance to support? I'm rolling, or no, uh, per performance or persuasion? Uh, no, persuasion, persuasion cool. to support Jubilee. Well, I got a five with Daryl's plus one, right? And you get a plus one from me. Okay, That's so six. six. Okay, so you're rolling so, yeah. with. Uh, yeah, I actually think Tracy's our lead, so like I was supporting okay. her, so six okay. is our total. Yeah. Nice. Toto. And right, I'm so. I'm happy with that. That's about as good as I'm yeah. expecting to do here. <laughs> <laughs> with yeah. this with this crazy whatever jig you're doing and whatever <laughs> twanging is happening over here. So Ed Ed takes his little shot, he sees your performance, he hears some kind words from Elijah, who is, you know, a formidable figure. Uh, he says, you know, I've been, I've been feeling real low all day. My son's about to drive me to distraction. He's laid up in the bed over there. He went and worked on that Baden Mountain Tunnel. Oh. He was part of that dig for two months. I've tried to turn him against the big boys from day one, but he is all like, it's boring around the junk. He calls it a junkyard. He don't call it a flea market in good time emporium. He calls this place <laughs> a junkyard. If you can imagine. Disrespectful. What? It's dis the, the boy is disrespectful. He went and worked on that tunnel against my wishes until he got sick. And then he comes down here, poor mouth, asking me to take him back in. I said, no, son, I ain't doing that. You brought, you got to bring me something. I'm a businessman. He starts ferreting down some of that dynamite they were blowing through the mountain. He brought me a goodly portion of it. Really? He sure did. Well, let's get a little payback, shall we? I mean, we could. He still, I don't know how he's turned at this point. I don't know because he he laying up. He's coughing so much, he can barely get a sentence out. You know but what we he, call people who exalt the company man? We call them scabs. Is what we call them. Yeah. We call them. Well, now easy, easy. No, you don't, yeah. He's the man's son. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, I mean, hell. Where, where is this tunnel actually heading to anyway? Well, first I had to come through the mountain, and then the river runs down through the valley, and they're going to have to build that bridge over the river. That's what they're getting ready to do next. And it's going to run between Theron Galloway's operation, his coal mining operation, and then Royster Whitaker's logging operation up in the Great Craggage. What do they want to move? I can't even tell you. I don't know if it's labor i don't know if it's goods i don't know if it's devilment they want to move they handed out these funny little handbills the stupidest things i've ever seen did y'all see any of those they handed no out you got one handy no i got a few of them this one here <laughs> says take a ride to heaven that ain't where it's going this one here says you built this railroad hell i didn't this one here says the choo-choo is for you you now that's just insulting. But it convinced him, and he went and got on that project. Well, and now, Ed, yes, go sir. ahead. No, no, sir. Ed, it looks to me like you got some, you know, st you skin in this game to me. Well, I'm riled up about it because he went out and worked for him against my wishes. Now he's laid out in bed. He's talking crazy stuff. He's talking about they see they had to fight off these worms. He's talking about haints. He's talking about a crazy man blowing through the mountain. He's he's half delirious. Wow. Is he, and he's laid up now? Sick? He's laid up sick. He's in the he's in the shed behind the shed. Well, the double back shed. Would it be possible? 
Would it be yeah. possible for us to talk to him directly and maybe try and cheer his spirits a little bit? With your little twangy thing, you mean? I, I've well, y'all cheered my spirits. Or, or maybe, <laughs> maybe Minnie May could tend to him just a little bit. Right? Yeah, I was going to say. I she's looking. Well, I mean, he's mm. looking, too. He's been awful hard to hitch up with anybody. Well, I was going to offer to uh, teach him a lesson for you, but if you want me to check him out, I could also kind of maybe see what's wrong with him. I'm sound, By the sound of him, I am not interested in hitching up with him, though. I think she just got engaged. <laughs> you can go. I mean, y'all can go back that and talk fast. to him. Y'all still ain't told me what you want to blow up, for real. I know, I know y'all ain't telling me the truth. Well, we're, we were, we're definitely going to do some, in you know, inspective mining with that dynamite in that tunnel that they're digging. Yes. <laughs> inspective. Yeah. And if it just happens to collapse some things, well, I mean, that's just how it happens the, to disrupt their project and make it just, uh, impossible for them to finish. That's yeah. how the rocks fall. Well, I'll tell you something. <laughs> that's fate. If you can get him to calm down his cough a little bit, it's keeping me up all night i can't get no sleep from it i'm afraid he's just going to pitch out and die back there if you can calm down his cough i got some other things i want to tell you about after you talk to him but see we'll see if you can do something for him if you're a healer you ain't no granny woman though you're too young um i i wouldn't call it healing <laughs> um, you call it a little snap out of it slapping is that what is that what you'd call it well, it's more moral reinforcement. It's the power of good intention. Ah, and you've got your twangy thing, so that's good. <laughs> Just Banjo to be and mouth harp. It, I admit, it's kind of catchy, kind of catchy. All right. Well, he's in the shed behind the shed. If y'all want to go talk to him. Just to be clear, I do have permission to slap him. <laughs> I mean, if it'll clear up his chest congestion. That's <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, Ed, I, I, it's a pleasure to pleasure to meet you. Um, I hope I hope we'll 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 talk to him and we'll we're talk to you. We're coming back, after. he said. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to be nice to people. You were just laying the groundwork in case we had to run from the joint. I've I've had that experience <laughs> a few times. All right, let's do it. <laughs> See what you can do with. It. All right, so like he he sort of shows you back to the back shed. Um, the, sh the shed behind the shed. As you approach, you do hear like a raspy cough coming out. Um, and it just looks like an old smokehouse that he's converted to like a place to keep this fellow because he doesn't want him in the in the main house with him. You deduce that very quickly. This is like, he wants nothing to do with his son, right? Do, do I recognize this raspy cough? Like, is it some illness that I uh, would, would know about? You would, I mean, miners get black lung they yep. develop black lung after years of working in the mines for the big boys um does this sound like that or it would sounds I... it sounds similar um why don't you do a notice roll for me elijah okay. nope <laughs> that's not very good so, it sounds like black lung to you <laughs> all right then yeah. well that sounds real bad but then again, he's not been mining. He's been digging this tunnel, so I don't know. Sounds like black lung to me. But. So, many you want to go back and, uh, and take the and lead on this and have a conversation? Did we get the son's stuff? name? Yep, yeah, Percy Ray Poovy. Percy Ray Poovy. Yeah, we'll let uh, Minnie May take first strike here. Minnie May and Percy Ray. <laughs> 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 uh, not to me, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Straight. Plus, he's probably going to die in a day or two, so you'll be free again. Yeah, he's going to die, you're going to die. We're all going to die someday. <laughs> uh, you always lift my spirits. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll am i kick the door in. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And right, um, as you're kicking the door, I'm like, to be fair, you're all full of piss and vinegar, so you may actually last a little longer than the rest of us. Well, you didn't, you didn't give me the signal to punch the first guy. I was waiting for the hand signal, but it didn't seem like it was going to go that way. So. My hands move a lot, so you better like hold me down so I don't want to accidentally <laughs> give that signal when we're in the middle of negotiations. 
So I love the kick in the door to make your entrance, uh, Mini May. Mm -hmm. uh, roll intimidation on that. If you get a success, I'll give you a, a plus one on future persuasions. Just, <laughs> for this. Just like oh, Tim, it. Tim, Tim, don't right. encourage her. You're supporting <laughs> you yourself. You don't know where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Hey, hey, I was going to tone it down. Yeah, sure. So sure you <laughs> You're kicking the door in on an invalid. <laughs> yeah, you were going to tone it down. Yeah. Okay. Is he really an invalid? He just... Sounds like a. He's you know, in the, the shed old... behind the shed. I mean, the if you're, if if you're it's triage. His if father wants father. nothing to do with him. I was gonna say if his own father puts him in the doghouse, quite literally, probably used to be a doghouse. Might as well just add insult to injury then. That's what you're thinking, right? I am with you on this, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so many you kick that door, it goes off the hinges, <laughs> hits the ground. Percy Ray jumps up. He's sort of like clutching his covers a little bit, looking up. So like, what in tarnation? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Tell me now. <laughs> <laughs> My father put me out here. I have a horrible cough. It's real roomy. I feel like I got a lot of, there's a lot of fluid. I feel like I can't stop coughing. He says it keeps him up at night, so he put me you put me out here in the shed. I've been back here for two or three weeks. Yeah, I'm sure that's why you're in the shed. That's why. Well, he don't, he don't agree with me about going up and working on that tunnel. But I just got tired of being in this junkyard, as boring as it can be. I just wanted yeah. some excitement. Well, I'm the nurse, so stand up, drop your trousers, and turn around in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've been looked after by a granny woman before. I had a wart on my finger. All she did was rub that wart and say a two couple of words over it. I didn't have to do nothing with my trousers. Well, I have a different method of <laughs> diagnoses, so... Okay. I I'm going to lean in and go, Percy, you better do what she says. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Percy's little I'm going to lean in and say, Percy, you better not do what she said. <laughs> I push you forcefully out of the doorway. And I point to that and say, goodbye, old man. <laughs> I am outside shaking my head disapprovingly at this whole debacle. <laughs> Percy seems intrigued. Uh, okay. I'm sure he does. He, he obeys your command. He, he, he drops his trousers, does a little spin around halfway through the spin. He's coughing really hard. He's having a pretty bad hacking field. All right. Now that we're on level playing field, put your pants back on and I'll do the real examination. Okay. <laughs> he does, he, he's eager now. He feels like he's being trained or taught something. All like, so, he is. Uh, he yeah. is. The trousers come up. He's sort of wide-eyed, expectant, waiting for what's next. All right. Can I give him a look over and see if I recognize anything? You sure can. And you can roll, um, I'll let you roll, you could roll common knowledge or you can roll, they're probably the same. Or they're the same. As a former, not yet. So either one. What did my intimidation get me? Plus one. Plus, plus one. one. Interactions. On, on future okay. interactions. Okay. Yeah. So I got a five or a six. Um, yeah, so that's a success. Um, you're like getting real close to Percy's face, sort of seeing like how his eyes look. You take a look down his throat. Uh, you sort of feel his heartbeat. It seems to be a little erratic. Um, and then, like, you go back and you look in his mouth again. And as you're looking in his mouth, he starts to cough very hard. You sort of pull back. And he coughs something up. And he holds it to you in his palm. And uh, mm. he's like, this is the third one of those. And you look, and it's a small, like, worm-like creature. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Clearly not the way to go. Uh, what do, what okay. am I supposed to do with this? He asked. Uh, mm. I put the first two in a jar. Okay. Put oh. them all together. Put them all in the jar. All right. So he unscrews, puts in the mason jar, collection of three worms. All right. One second. I have to go consult with my <laughs> other... <laughs> 
healing people. Um, <laughs> they all doctors? I don't see a granny woman among you. Uh, you know, okay, I'm going to turn around and just walk out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And as she walks out, I'll just play, I'll play her out. <laughs> 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 well, guys, he's got worms. Yeah, <laughs> we saw that. Oh, you did. Okay. Okay. I'm well, what do we do in. about it? I'm heading in the shack. I mean, is your moonshine going to kill those worms? Well, so just because I like a challenge, Tim gave me exactly two doses of magic potion. <laughs> <laughs> and this young feller's getting the other one. Nice. What? Okay. Yep. I mean, right. when y'all are dying later, you can scream about it. But right okay. now, my soft heart is ruling the day. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to uh, I'm going to lean down and go and say, look here, young feller, drink this. And I'm going to give him my uh, my other good batch. Wait, 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 wait. It won't work unless you drop your trousers first and then drink it. I think I know how to administer moonshine. <laughs> okay, 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 doctor. All right. So, Boone, you hand it to him. But uh, before he drinks, yeah. I have a question. Yes. Now, what was this about not the worms you swallowed, but worms in the tunnel? I lean well, in the door. I heard that. I heard that. So he said, well, they was some, they was some bigger worms in the in the tunnel. They call them mouthing wrigglers, cause they have like teeth. They was about three foot long, size of a sort of a, a real stout baby pig. Well, that's not horrible. We had to, that's one yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the reasons the dig took so long, cause we was having to fight off worms the whole time we were digging and blasting. They'd come up. Just out of the rock, and a and uh, so the tunnel's full of these worms. It's about the size of a, a pig. Yeah. And and did I if hear hates as well? Shaped. Yeah. If a pig was worms, <laughs> well, that's a given. <laughs> yes. But now you said there were hates as well. Uh, well, I don't. To tell you the truth, I don't know if they hates, or I don't know if they folks. They started out as folks. They was two of us. Well, all hates really, start out as folks. I reckon that's right. But they, Thomas Head and Jed Bones, they was two real nice fellas. Uh, they had a real good joking spirit about them, sort of like that fella there you got with you with his little hey. banter. Yeah, the funny one. was always singing <laughs> songs around the camp. And uh, they worked on Stormy's crew. I worked on Stormy's crew for a little bit, but I got scared because he was... He's our, he was our demolitions expert, and he was just blowing through rock, blasting through rock. He didn't seem to care too much about how safe we was. And uh, Jed Bones and Thomas Head lost their lives in, in an explosion. And then after that, a few nights, folks say they heard him singing around the camp. But we ain't seen him alive since then. You remember what song they were singing? <clears throat> sort of a weird song. I don't know if I can do it with my cough, but I can I can try to get it up. Yeah. It might be Wait. a little raspy. Go ahead and have a drink, son. All right, so he takes a drink. Spirit roll. See how it affects. So Percy takes a shot of the moonshine. Usually with a, a straight failure, it has no effect. With a critical failure, it's going to be a little table tonight. It would be like a GM effect. So, like, it doesn't... It's sort of a wash with the moonshine. Um, so he's rasping. He says, I don't, it's not, it's probably not up to your standards, sir. He's looking sure, at, sure. You, at your banjo. He says, but this is what they fellas say they heard. I, so, I was sort of dreaming it one night and it still comes back to me. They call me old bloody bones. Got blowed halfway to the sky. I'll never get home. And then they another voice that come in. And they call me Tommy Rawhead. Woke up one morning and I was dead. Bloody. That makes me real sad. Then the other one comes back in. Oh, Tommy, don't be sad. It's better to be stark raving mad. With just two loons underneath the moon. Dancing a jig to the devil's tune. It was sort of like that. 
That's great. Yeah, I'll, I'll like start accompanying him as he's playing it to make sure okay. I've, I've kind of got it down. It's, it gives me the shivers a little bit. Yeah, it is a little creepy. Does especially me too. Dead man yeah. singing it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we never when, really seen him. We just hear. Him. <clears throat> when did the worms thing start? The worms. We was fighting worms as soon as we started digging in to that N- mountain. No, I mean like oh. you having oh, me worms. coughing up my little worm. Yeah. Uh, this is just a few days ago. That's the reason I, I I I left off and came back home. Hmm. So okay. we've been coughing a while. My cough hey, Jubilee. Yeah. Do you think you can remember that song in case we need to recall it at some point? I think that's exactly what I've been working on. Yep. Hurry now, up and copyright it. <laughs> that's big boy talk. <laughs> yeah, that did is you big get, boy talk. Did you, did, is the tunnel finished? The tunnel is finished, and now the work camp, they're just waiting and sort of regaining their strength. They're going to start on the bridge. Okay, and is that bridge on the other side of the tunnel from it us? Is. It's on the same thought. side as us. It's coming, it's coming this way. It's coming this way. Oh, so the bridge is on our side. Mm-hmm. So we don't have to go through the tunnel to get to the bridge. No, the bridge. They haven't even started the bridge yet. Where they starting to build it? There's a work camp outside that tunnel. Okay. There's, there's probably about <clears> sixty <throat> or seventy miners and workers and demolition folks still up there. Company guards. Sometimes there's some Kramer hold agents. They come in. <laughs> but the tunnel's just on the other side of that camp, and they ain't even started the bridge yet. All right. Anything else you want to tell us? We get mixed up with these folks, Percy. Well, I tell you what, if I ain't if I ain't got sick, I'd still been there building with. Them. It was hell, but it was better than this hell. It's better than being in the shed behind the shed. <laughs> hey, uh, when you were working, I, I guess fellers would be coming in and you know new new crew all the time. Did you guys have uh, you know? Some way of telling who was working versus who was maybe uh, skulking around? Well, they gave us these uh, just gray uniforms, the drabest little things you'd ever seen. To, I think it was to, you know, keep us straight from the, the locals because they, they all kind of folks coming around wanting this or wanting that. You still got your son? Oh, yeah. It's my, it's my pride and joy. It's the only thing that shows I, ain't, I ever left this place. Well, you just head on to sleep then. Get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> and, and where is it? <laughs> exactly. That's, you'll be able to find that pretty easy. Yeah, it's not a big shed, so it can't be that yeah. far. It's, it's in the shed behind the shed behind the shed. Yeah. So, yeah, Percy, this is, this is the most human interactions he, he's had since he's come back home. He's kind of exhausted. He may be near death, so he had a shot. So he's he's ready to just drift off to sleep. So <clears throat> it's it's no no trouble at all to uh, see Percy's gray work uniform neatly folded. It's the only thing in this whole complex that is neat in any way, shape, or form <laughs> at the foot of his bed. Now he's kind of a little for this. Probably fits uh, many better than many than anybody. There's no way Elijah could get into to Percy's <laughs> work uniform. I'll hold it up. Is he's he's kind of out of it now, right? Yeah, he is. I'll hold it. Well, he's a little feller. Here you go. <laughs> well, I think we saw that when he dropped trial and spun around. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. All right. So. All right. Let's do it. You put him to sleep. Uh, Ed wanted you to come out and. Yeah. Talk to him. Yeah. Um. Uh, if we're gonna take the uniform, can we also take the uh, jar of worms? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Yeah. 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 Right. And I will four. squash them as soon as I'm out of his sight. No. 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 I mean, like it's a very mini me, you know, instinct to just squash stuff. <laughs> but like, you know, like in the second, you're like, I'm just gonna get in there and pound them. Like, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. These you never things, know when okay. a little jar of worms is going to come in handy. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm not carrying him then. 
They're oh, not my problem. Over. Give them over. Yeah. yeah. Trade I'll you. Put them, I'll put them with my jars now. Don't get them mixed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I always check your jars. There's a whole new tradition about to start with worms and jars. And <laughs> That's where the tequila thing started. No. Okay, so, uh, let's go talk to Ed. Yeah, yeah talk y'all come back out. Yeah, it's I'll like actually like take my hat off a little bit and I go, Percy's not in a good way. Well, sir. that boy is sick, so, Ed. He is how's, sick. How, how sick y'all think he is? Uh, coughing up worms sick. Yeah, you see that jar? You might want to out. send for a granny woman. Uh, I came in, out of my boy? Yeah. You can bet them Kramer Hope fellas is responsible. Well, I'm sure it is. They probably infected every single worker or something. So probably they died so. Off right after they went through that mouth. They wouldn't talk about what they seen in there, what they up to. Well, it's it's okay. it's it's worms the size of little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> and and maybe the ghosts of Thomas Head and Jed Bones. That's a that sounds like a fanciful tale. That's all he's been talking about since he's been back. Well, you now, know, much, things No, I've things seen some stuff. Things are strange down in the underground. So but now what is it you wanted to tell us? Well, y'all ain't cured him by any stretch. Your, your young granny woman here ain't done a thing to help him. She well, now I gave him the same, same mixture I gave you. And, it and, and it's having an effect. It's just going to take it's, a while on him. And then it'll show up. Okay. Sure. Okay. What y'all giving me for this uh, dynamite y'all want? I got about a couple of dozen sticks. Well, I just gave you a boost for your own vitality as well as your son's. Now, that's quite a bit right there. You and know what I usually get for that. Yeah, this is, this is grade A shine here, I think. And also, we didn't talk about it, but my fee for examination is really high. <laughs> well, I mean, she didn't gouge you. Are you a company man? Because that sounds like company man talk to me. <laughs> no, I work for myself. All right. Her, her prices are pretty high. She she really does gouge you. <laughs> I tell you. I tell y'all something. I'm just I'm about ready to get out of this business. It just drives me to distraction. Uh, folks like y'all coming in here all the time. I don't. I don't sleep good at night. I don't know when somebody's gonna put a knife through my chest because they, they want something. I enjoy piddling around with things, but, uh, I think it might be these things right here. Come over here, Bo. Let me show you something. You didn't look behind this wheelbarrow. It's making Percy funny. They made me feel funny. That's why I moved them out. Uh, he comes up. He brings a little cloth. He got wrapped. Uh, he shows it to you, Boone. He opens it up, and there's four little funny-looking green rocks. It looks sort of like coal, similar like shape, similar consistency, but they seem to be pulsing with this little green light inside. He says, for all I know, this is making Percy sick. It's making me feel kind of weird, kind of slow, and so I took him out of the house and brought him out here. But I just feel like they're bad luck. I feel like they've been cursed by a witch or something. Old Tinker brought him up to me. Said he got him up in the Stygian Mountains. Wow. So, well, those, those do look bad. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna take him off take him off his hands. Yeah. Okay. And hand him to Elijah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you uh, want me to do with these? Carry them. Can I, can I take so a look? That at those? was a pretty brief interaction for you, Boone. Elijah, you'll need to make a, a bigger roll. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I have I have stuff for this. <laughs> uh, six. Okay. Yeah. So you get the rocks. They feel kind of warm to you, Elijah. And you're sort of amazed. He's like, this does. It looks like cold. It feels like cold. It even smells like cold. <laughs> but it's green and it has this pulsating light. Inside. And they're in what container now? What, he just—he just had a little cloth, it's a jar, right? A cloth. Oh, and cloth. He's got That's a notion true. in his head that these rocks bring him bad luck, maybe bad luck with Percy, maybe put him in some sort of danger. And he says, "This is the trade. You get these things out of here, 
you give me your next round of winnings to next gouge and five points to many man. And when you pass a hat at your next show, you think about old Ed Poovy, and if you're close, you bring it on down here. Right. Well, I can absolutely do that. All right. So you take these things. All right. Dynamite, we done. I don't want this big boys. I don't want those stuff around me no more. Hey, uh, speaking of the big boys and the work that's going on not too far away, any of those boys ever come down to <clears throat> do some shopping at the Good Time Emporium, or they mostly leave you alone? No, they leave me alone. They could they could come down and shut me down anytime they want. If they ever found me out here, they might just shoot me up. But I ain't seen them in this part of the woods yet. And not any of them working for them either. No, sir. No, sir. Percy Ray went and sought them out, those handbills. They came to me through, like, various folks coming, thinking they was money, trying to trade them. Like folks do. So... Tim, yes. I want to, uh, I'm trying not to use modern day knowledge here, but given my, my moonshine processes, if I suspect there might be some kind of unhealthy vapors coming off of these rocks, mm -hmm. would it make sense that I could maybe dig through the scrapyard and make some kind of like a copper container, or I, I don't know if I'd know lead or not. I don't know what's what's in a moonshine still exactly. I know copper's copper. involved. Yeah, and make uh, make some kind of container that might protect Elijah a little bit. Yeah, I think you could do that. Roll repair on that. See what awesome. you can. It's just Elijah. I, I'm gonna. <laughs> Y'all have a seat. Have a have a bite to eat or something. I'm gonna need about an hour. Well, while we're waiting, I'll play a little tune. Sounds so good to me. Get mad that we're here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, what Tim. You what are you playing for him? Okay. Yeah, you're able to uh, uh, s sort of cobble together uh, like a little a little cage out of what I don't know chicken wire, copper wire. Uh, you wrap some uh, some sheet metal around it, and you feel like you have a nice little maybe some irons in there, and uh, you have a nice little egg. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll uh, I'll steal a pair of uh, uh, pinchers to tongs and uh, see if I can heat it enough to seal it reasonably well. Okay. So Beautiful. when we want in so, it, if we want to get in it, it shouldn't take more than like a knife or something since it's just copper. But otherwise, it's steel. it's reasonably solid for bashing, crushing kind of stuff. Okay. That's okay. my goal. Yeah, right. that's quite yeah. a contraption you got there. Yeah, very nicely done, Boone. You know, uh, you're handy after all. Well, maybe you I'll try some of your shine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm just singing, hand me down the can of beans, hand me down the can of beans, we're throwing them away. <laughs> that feels like a cut scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it does. That's the outro. Oh, uh, the yeah. outro to the commercial, yeah, right, exactly. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, y'all have, have dynamite, y'all have four funny little green rocks. Uh, Y'all have some intelligence about the camp, so it's time to head up to the work camp and and see what's there. <laughs> now, sort of the the second part of the directive that Ella May gave y'all is like she wants some damage done to this tunnel. She wants you to like bring down as much of it as you can, full collapse, partial collapse, cover, just set them back. But she doesn't want the workers to be hurt. Sure. Of you course. Know, because that would Otherwise, be like a, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Right. That, 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 that just disaster. drives people to the big boys. You, you hurt workers. All right. So, you guys are approaching the location of the work camp. Um, it's just outside the newly constructed tunnel. There's like a slope that goes down sort of gently, 100 yards, 200 yards, uh, flattens out a little bit. And then the Wild Eddy River is below you. Uh, this time, it's the middle of the night. The camp is asleep. You know there are probably a, at least a few company guards on patrol around the perimeter of the camp. Um, there's some still some fires burning, even though men are sleeping in. There's a, there's a perimeter of tents around the edge of the camp as, as well. Uh, just like Percy Ray said, about probably a camp that would hold 60 to 70 workers, plus some guards, 
uh, Percy Ray said that there was um, some explosive material there. Yeah, like y'all brought two dozen six of dynamite. He said there was more. He said there were blasting caps, detonators, those sorts of things. Um, so you're just sort of maybe 20 yards away surveying the scene. What do you want to do? Actually, Everybody? real quick. Sorry, sorry Tracy. Yeah. Along the way, Tim, uh, yes. I, I assume it took us a while to get there. Yeah, yeah. And did we walk? Y'all yeah, on, on foot. Just That's trying. what I thought. So oh, yeah. along the way, I'd like to stop at one of my regular customers and buy back some of the good hooch that I sold him, so I have a little extra, if that's possible. Who is, Trade you these worms okay. for it. And 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 just to uh, for a little extra influence for you there, I'll spend a penny for it to influence the story. And I actually went out and bought Appalachian <laughs> Moonshine. Wow. So nice. I am now going to pour said moonshine. <laughs> Excellent. And give it a shot. That's fantastic. Literally. Commitment. It doesn't come okay. in a jar though, so. Mm. No, I didn't have a mason jar handy. Yeah. <laughs> you need to do So, the this whole. is Blackberry Moonshine. Oh, that sounds amazing. I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. No? And the game is over. <laughs> so yeah! This is, <laughs> that is quite good. So, is anybody this... coughing out there? Like, is, 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 is anybody sick that, that we see from our vantage point wherever we are? I, I assume we're hidden. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give, I'm going to say, I'm going to just like abstract this scene real quick. Boone, you went, Tater Scroggins, they call him Tater because he's a rather large man, but just got a tiny little Tater head, one of your best <laughs> customers. He was very upset to be woken up at, at midnight. Um, you know, you told him some sort of outrageous thing, like you thought you thought it might be tainted, right? That's right. It's so, tainted, Tater. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got three good slugs. You got three doses. Fantastic. You know, That's good because we don't that. want Tater drinking no tainted tarnation. No, right. tainted, tainted tarnation would taint Tater, and then that would be it. And so, to, to answer to answer your question, Elijah, uh, when you get near the camp you hear sort of like a chorus of coughing. Okay. Yeah. So that's something that's, that's happening. Uh, many, you're just like, oh my God, they're all full of worms, probably. Yeah. There's gonna be worms everywhere. On the bright side, those fellers aren't getting any sleep right now. So, Not much. we got a couple options to get past them and into that tunnel, right? One, Minnie Mae can wear our uniform and just walk right on by. But for the rest of us, maybe uh, I'll play our little haunted ditty, and that might uh, disturb some of them. Maybe draw the guards towards my position, and I'll sneak off while you guys get around through. I'm pretty good at sneaking, too, so you play the ditty, right? And that sounds pretty good. So wait, that's all great, but then what? What, what well, we... that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. How are you well, we then get then we, we got gotta... three foot worms that look like there's the pig size that are probably going to kill us. Yep, pig size the... worms. Uh, the, the pig <laughs> worms are like, that's that's the next thing to solve. I solve things uh, one thing at a time. You okay, play so a wait. song, one note, then the next note. So I'm sorry, are we at the tunnel or do we need to get by these guys to get to the tunnel? We have to get past them to get to the tunnel. I, I'll let Tim answer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As Jubilee says, I mean, you could sneak around the perimeter of the camp and get to the tunnel. You could just a stealth roll, uh, get by. However, like, before y'all blow up the tunnel, the camp's going to have to be cleared by hook or crook. Okay. Else, like, whatever uh, comes down the mountain when y'all take down part of the tunnel. Got it. So actually, maybe I should work. save the song to clear the camp then. Ooh. And, and how many workers versus the guards are there? Do we know? You can't really tell right now. You don't see yeah. a patrol. You would just assume that there are guards among these workers. Okay. Are they yeah. guarding the workers or are they, you know, they, both, like keeping like, the workers there and not allowed to leave kind of thing? Exactly. They're keeping okay. the workers there. They're keeping curious holler folks out, you know, any kind of funny business. Sure. You know, they shoot first and, and ask questions later, so, generally. 
The thing about company guards, they tend to be holler folks who are, who are scabs, right? So Kramer hold agents are mercenaries brought in from the city. So company guards, a little bit easier to deal with than, than Kramer Holt agents. And, and are we haven't specifically seen any Kramer Holt people. You have yet, not right? seen and Percy didn't mention them. He just mentioned some company guards okay. around, around the camp. Yeah. So we want to try not to hurt any of these. So I know that uniform's more sized for Mini May. Can I wear it to slip inside and maybe spread some rumors around camp? Yeah, you're just going to have on high waters. Oh, well, that's and, fine. You know, yeah. It's yeah. just like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. They, <laughs> they used to call me Stretch anyway. It. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> So, so easier for us to spot you. Rumors yeah. are good, but I think we better come up with a story because it seemed like Percy, for example, <laughs> yeah. was loyal to these fellas and wanted to be here. Well, so here's, and we can, and we're, while we're plotting this, here's what I'm thinking. What I want to do is I want to go in amongst them and I want to spread around that I was on Stormy's crew and we were hearing them Haints talking that they were coming out to get us tonight. Well, what if Stormy's crew's down there? What if Stormy's down there? I'll improvise. <laughs> Stor Stormy is probably down there. Yeah. Like, you've heard enough from Percy, like... Yeah, well, as long as I'm not talking directly to Stormy, it'll right, be fine. Right, right. Yeah. I'm just this saying... This plan like, needs a little more percolating, I believe. Uh, <laughs> look, you just... It's like it's like crick water. It just rolls downhill. You go with it. Crick water. Right. But at any rate... It, but yeah. But, like, I want to get them... All, get their nerves up so they think something big's coming... So when we, it's time to scare them off, they're primed for it. That's we fair. A, okay. We can wear a sheet and come bursting out of the entrance. You're going to Scooby-Doo you, this thing, aren't you? Do, do you? Yeah, do you have to mention... I don't know the, what that means, but it sounds great. <laughs> you know, my old hound dog, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I mean, can't you just go out and, and, and spread rumors about the, the ghost talking and all that stuff without, without mentioning crews and such? I guess, but I mean, that's not nearly as risky or dangerous or interesting. All right. All right. I, and I, 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 okay. I get that that's our goal here, but we have a secondary <laughs> goal too, which is to blow up the, uh, the, the, the tunnel without hurting anybody. All right. I'll, 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 I'll keep myself from embellishing too much. <laughs> if that'll okay. make you all happier. So y'all are sending Jubilee in solo to the camp to spread some rumors. What are other folks doing while Jubilee is uh, doing his little performance? I think we're going to watch the festivities. Just watch. <laughs> All right. Hold up a chair. All right. Yeah. I, I kind of want to sneak sneak around and just get a look at the tunnel, just to you see get what some I dynamite see. Dynamite while you're there. Maybe you never know. You never know. But, I, yeah, that's kind of what I want to do, kind of go around and, and get a look at that tunnel, get the lay of the land. If I see some dynamite that's just sitting there, you know, <laughs> you never know. But I think I kind of want to do that. Okay. All right, so I, let's for, go ahead. If I see anyone moving towards where you said you were going to look around, I'll, I will turn my attention to them, you know, and be like, oh, hey. <laughs> You gotta Watch hear out for what the I ghost. heard. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> like attempting to, you know, keep them off Strange. of me if it comes to that. Yeah. Okay. So Jubilee, let's start with you. Um, yeah. Sneaking into, we're walking into the camp. You're yeah, exactly. Like I'll just like watch in the camp, walk into camp on my uniform, find some people that are uh, still up and talking. You know, sit down with them. I won't play my banjo because I'm in disguise. I'll okay. use the, the mouth harp or whatever. I'll play like a little bit, and then I'll be like, you know, I'm not one to go around spreading rumors. No. <laughs> but I'm going to go just spread a rumor. Not the gossipy kind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll hey. never hear me repeating gossip, so you better be sure to listen close the first time. And I'll tell them all about like, you know, like, oh, yeah, have you been have you been hearing? They're trying to keep it quiet, you know, the the, the you know the, the the big boys are trying to keep it quiet. The, the you know the 
them tents. They've been saying they're going to come out and get us tonight. You know, there's going to be blood, blood on the tents, blood on the dynamite, <laughs> blood everywhere, they say. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is, yeah. Um, so let's You're say a you monster. come up and, and <laughs> sort of perform this for a group of like five or six guys yeah. sitting around a campfire. Uh, they sort of look over at you and like, what happened to your uniform? Oh, I got scared so hard I grew six inches. <laughs> it just drew up on you? Yeah. You got a fright and your clothes just drew back? Right, exactly. Yeah, that's, a, that's one more strange thing that's happening here. I, I know. And before they got to me, I could hear them. And they call me old bloody bones. And they call me Tommy Ryan. Oh, stop that. Stop. We've been hearing that. We been, don't, <laughs> don't you say that. Don't you say them words. We've been hearing that every night. Between the coffin and that little voice, just sort of whispering out of the tunnel. Well, I heard it. I, we can't get no sleep. We're going to die well, before this bridge is done. Right, you shouldn't sleep because they're coming for us tonight, they said. Be ready. Be ready to run. Ready I know to run. I'm going to. When are you going to run? <laughs> What's that? When, when, when are we supposed to run? If like you we see got them guards come... around the perimeter, they're going to shoot us down if we try to run. No, right. Yeah. If they come out of that tunnel, them guards are going to have other things to worry about. That's when I'm going to beat feet. Roll it. Performance? I think this is like more than persuasion. I think this is performance because the mouth hard. Yeah, persuasion doesn't seem to contain it. <laughs> Ooh, a seven's Ooh. good, but I'm going to spin the Benny. I'm going to try, try and do better. Eight. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you. Okay. You Where got a race. Awesome. So the, the drawn up clothes had more impact than you thought. They, they took it as a sign of like, this is more weird stuff happening, right? And your voice, the way it sort of like trembled right at the end of like, they call me Tommy Rawhead. You did a little giggle. They're like, no, we're, we're done. We're done. Death is everywhere. And so uh, these guys are started going over. They're, they're waking up their friends. Folks are close to them on one side of the camp. And they're just sort of rousing them. Like, they're, yeah. they're unnatural things happen happening. This has been building. And it seems to be building, this fella says, in the funny clothes right. to a point of no return. And we're right. either going to die from our coughs, we're going to die from these haints, or we're going to die running. We might as well try to die running. Now, it's going to take a while for this conversation yep, to spread. To percolate. Exactly. To I'm going to percolate. Give, give right. it time to the percolate. And then just, okay, exactly. Plant the seed and then kind of slip away a little bit. Okay. So that seed has been planted. Nicely done. Jubilee. Elijah, uh, you're walking up. You're sort of uh, exploring the outside of the tunnel. Yeah. Um, you see one of these fat pig-like worms. Whoa. Sort of just like waddling along you know <laughs> it doesn't seem particularly interested in you right now it's just maybe like 10 feet ahead of you just see it in the in the tunnel it looks like it's fed does lately. it look spry i mean does it look like i can outrun it or <laughs> it, you you are not i mean you you maybe have seen these things and and far worse in okay. the mines i mean that's one of the reasons that you're so shredded and ripped is you've been working in demon infested mines for years right. before you left, right? So this doesn't really phase you. You're like, oh, that's a minor inconvenience. These guys out here at this camp, they're not a minor like I am. I, right. I just pick this and go on, right? <laughs> but you do notice it's it's there. There may be more. It's in the tunnel? Uh, it's, it's in the tunnel, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and you hear an echo in the tunnel. They call me old bloody bones. Got blown halfway to the sky. So you hear that starting out yeah. in the tunnel, echoing through, and it, it feels maybe like you can't see you peering in, you can't see, but you hear that voice coming out of the tunnel. Is it is it that I can't see in the tunnel, or just that I can't see anyone in the tunnel? Because uh, I do the have tunnel. the uh, the uh, the don't I have that the uh, ignore oh, you got low light carbide. penalties yeah you have you, you get if it matters that. like I can be more sure that I'm not seeing it you don't think and you have on your, your carbide helmet too you, you yeah. can pop it out and put it on uh, they're not close to you you think it's at some 
sort of distant point in the tunnel. It's not near the entrance, but you hear it echoing. Okay. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So a little song coming out, Fat Worm. Jubilee, you're coming back out. You're probably tickled with yourself. I am. Uh, <laughs> Boo and, and Minnie Mae are, are waiting. What do you guys do now? Spreading a rumor. Yeah. Here's some potential threats in the tunnel. Switch. Have a fair number of explosives. Well, Switch when I get back, back I'll out. let everybody know. Like, I heard the song again. It's coming out of that tunnel. Mm. That'll that'll help your cause. Right, Jubilee? Yeah. Well, like I said, when we're ready to blow it, we got to make them think that it's the moment. You know, we got to do something big, something flashy, so they think the ghost, the taints are coming out. And uh, that's going to trigger everyone to let's... All hell's going to break loose when that happens. Hey, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> it's hate. Yeah, not, it's not hate. Not taint. <laughs> <laughs> that's the what taint, I said? The taints aren't coming out. <laughs> That's what I said. Uh, again, I mean, whatever. maybe Jubilee. if Minnie may ask him to drop trowel right. again. Oh, <laughs> I mean, come on. The ballad of the tainted haint. I mean, it's <laughs> better than the hainted <laughs> taints. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a coin flip. Uh, <laughs> that taint, what I said. <laughs> so, what's the next move? Yeah, genius. Uh, no, I think. <laughs> You know, it didn't look that hard to creep into the tunnel. Let's get in there and do our dirty work. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, just throwing a bunch of dynamite in there is not going to do it. I'm no expert, but yeah, I mean, neither gotta... am I. That's why I'm just going <laughs> to throw dynamite in there and hope that does it, right? Well, no. It, it actually turns out you need some kind of expertise to kind of do it right. I don't have that expertise. I, I mean, I've worked with explosives, but. Uh, but I don't know where to put them to get maximum effect. Now, there was somebody who was an explosive expert, right? Somebody. <laughs> some, uh, well, didn't, Percy mention, didn't Percy yeah. mention somebody was an explosives expert? Um, well, I think Stormy was, wasn't he? Stormy. Stormy Pickens is in the camp. Just to Daryl, there is a, a region called Corn Cob Gap. So I think this is the setting for you with all the taint talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, so yeah, uh, Elijah Stormy Pickens is somewhere in the camp. He's been like heading up the demolition teams. He seems to be someone who's not averse to putting men in danger. Uh, Percy related that. So it seems like the big boys may be employed, you know, someone who sort of shared their hell bent approach to blasting through a mountain. So he's going to be hard to turn. Yeah, he is. Right. Let's go talk to him. <laughs> well, no, so I think it's also like music. You can either play good or you can play fast. Maybe if we're not putting the dynamite in precisely, if we just have more of it, we'll get the same effect, right? I don't... I don't think you understand how dynamite works. <laughs> I know how music works, how different could it be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like that. Look, I don't understand it either, right? We could try to get Stormy isolated and see if we can scare scare him to death and try to get him to do it, but I don't well, know. Well, if he's dead, he ain't going to help us. Well, you know, scare him well, straight. He's probably a proud man. Maybe we can I get him wonder, drunk. Well, I wonder how he'd feel if... Many may challenge them to a fight. Ooh. And the stakes being a little assistance, creating more work for his boys by re-clearing the tunnel. So I get to punch someone? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's, the That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> that is my so, suggestion. So let me get this. Y'all are trying to initiate... <laughs> A gouging fight in the middle of the night with these men who are sick, they're exhausted, and she's just going to stride in there and say, where's Stormy Pickens? I'm going to kick your ass <laughs> and hope that the crowd gathers around and they just go at it. I love you know, this idea. When you put it like that, I like it better. It's a great 
I think I think there's a little corollary that. to the plan. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I think we need to walk in and tell them what we're going to do because we're going to need Stormy's help to do it, and tell them we know they're being sick. We'll 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 talk about you know what's making them sick, and this is a way to get them out of that work for a while. Let them heal up, and then if they want to work again, there's going to be plenty of work clearing that tunnel. Okay. That's my pitch. Interesting. Okay. I like it. Somebody got a better idea? I don't. I don't. I don't think it's a good idea. My idea was more dynamite. <laughs> Shovel it in there. You know what? We can do week, that, I too. Could, <laughs> I could brew some shine and put everybody to sleep, but I'm not sure that'd help either. <laughs> <laughs> then they couldn't flee in terror. So we're going to talk to him, and then I get to beat him up? I say we try it, unless somebody's got a better idea. If the talking works, you'll get to beat somebody up. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to say when Jubilee went into the camp, he was sort of canvassing around. He saw the biggest tent. It was obviously the tent that has the detonators, yeah. more dynamite, plungers, all these things. You were looking over there. Uh, somebody maybe said something about Stormy not sleeping. So you know where he is, right? And so y'all can get in there. Um uh, get to the tent uh he's sleeping many may there's no door to kick down yeah. on this tent <laughs> you just walk right into it um but whoever wants to go in there and wake stormy up here but we have to set the stakes remember right. it's not just kicking his ass yeah many may well i mean i do the punching does somebody want to do the talking while that's, that's I... jubilee's job well, no, but I'm going to be switching to my... I'm going to be back in my minor disguise, and so many of them would recognize me, I can't I'll switch do it. out. So, yeah, you got to talk that one. I'll, I'll, I'll be egging them on through the, you know, in the, in the minor audience, you know. So, okay, so are we, are we good with this plan as a group, then? Apparently, yes. I am. All right. I don't have a better one. But then again, <laughs> I'm not the smartest, you know, one on the team here. Okay, well... Here you go, Minnie Mae. I'm going to hand you a flask. Drink this just before the fight. I check it for worms. There are no worms. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Minnie Mae rolls spirit on the moonshine to see how it, how it hits you. But not yet. She's not drinking it yet. Okay, okay. Just before the fight. All right. Okay, not yet. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay, so I'll walk into camp. Yeah. You come with me, uh, Elijah. Yeah. I'll be the so strong, silent type. Yeah. Okay. Wait, am I right. not coming for this part? You can uh, no, you yeah, should. yeah, you come okay. on. Yeah, you should be there. And the great thing is, like, you can set it up like they're gonna fight Elijah, and then like you do the bait and switch, but you gotta fight her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's awesome. Like, you know, well, you, you you could you might be able to beat Elijah, but not her. <laughs> but I think it's got to be her because yeah. Elijah does look scary. That's true. Yeah, yeah, he's got. He has to think he can win. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Daryl, are you? How about you be a plant? You be, join the miners and that's it. and yeah. call out Stormy. Is that what you're going to exactly. do? Exactly. That's okay. exactly what I'm going to do. I love All it. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let's go, boys, girls. Okay, y'all, y'all stride in. Uh, you know where Stormy's tent is. He's in there sleeping. What do you go in there and say to him, boom? Okay. Uh, well, is he sleeping? Sleeping? He's sleeping. Sleeping. Man, can I? Deep. Can I assist you in waking him up by throwing some water from my canteen on his face? Hold your horses. Okay. <laughs> this is and why I ask. Just to the game. This so is why I'm, I ask. So I've got a, a big old backpack with my portable steel and stuff on it, right? I'm just going to walk right into the center of the camp with, with my entourage. And I'm going to set it down noisily. And then I'm going to look through it, and I'm going to pick out one of my ordinary, just flasks of some prank plain old moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, sounds like the choir down here with all this coughing and hacking and carrying on. Y'all sick, ain't you? Every last one of you. You hear some folks bawling back, yes, sir. <coughs> sure am. <laughs> That's right. You're sick. And I tell you what, it ain't just in your bones. It ain't just in your veins. It's in your souls. You feel it. You feel it, don't you? I feel it. I, I feel it kind of in my chest. Though. That's right, in your chest, son. And you've been hacking up worms, ain't you? I, I don't. Yeah, maybe come one, on now. Maybe, maybe one or two. 
<laughs> and you, you, you've been hacking up arms too, ain't you, son? Yeah. Yeah, just, just the one. But just yeah. like these. And I'll hold up that jar with the three worms in them. Yeah. And I'll hold it in the firelight. Let them glow. I'll actually hold them over the fire and let them pop and jump around. Or sizzle or whatever they do. Beautiful. But I tell you what. We got an answer. We got an answer to all your woes. You know what you need, friends? You know what you need? What's that? <laughs> You need some R and R, rest and relaxation, and you know Kramer Holt ain't gonna give you any of that. No, we need to blow off some steam. You do need to blow off some steam. Yeah. You need to blow off some rock. You need to blow off mm -hmm. a tunnel. And I tell you what, we're gonna do. We're gonna blow that tunnel up. Now where's Stormy? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the Stormy's right over there in the big tent. Hey, Stormy, come on out. So you call them out. There's some rustling in the tent, about 10, 15 yards away. This little man comes out. He's sort of walking like this. It looks like he's about 60, 65 years old. Oh, my God. He's, he's hunched over. Stormy, I'm going to need you to pick a champion. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have got a wager for you, my friend. <laughs> He looks around, he's like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm to give the group a look. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to get a few hours of sleep. We got to start on that bridge. Stormy, 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 stormy. You know, yes, you're not just in charge of these boys. You're responsible for these boys, right? Well, the, the demolition team I am, yes. That's right. And we're going to blow up that tunnel, Stormy. And you're going to help us. You're going to show us how to do it. Lower your voice. Lower your voice. <laughs> These company guards, they'll come in and they shoot you right in the head for saying that. Well, I got my seed sower to take care of them if they do. But we need but to you... give these boys a rest. We need to give these boys time to rest and recuperate. We're going to blow that tunnel. Set Kramer Holt back a few weeks, and then when it's time to clear it again, those who want to come back and get some new work and higher wages will be able to do so. Right, boys? Ooh, more work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Higher right. wages. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying to me? Let me tell you something. Blowing through that mountain was the best time of my life. Ah, oh, see? Explosions every day. An explosion every day. You're not going to be able to do I that making the bridge. You can't blow up a bridge. That's right. <laughs> you can blow up a mountain. <laughs> now, what? Well, Stormy, what? how would you like to create the biggest explosion you've ever done? <laughs> when you say the biggest, how big is what? Every single bit. Oh, the the no. whole and tunnel, gonna, Stormy. And I'm going to open up a bag of dynamite. And let some more. You, let me tell you. That was a sticking point for me when them big boys came to me and they said, Stormy, we want you to blow a hole through that mountain. I said, why don't we just blow up the whole thing? <laughs> then you won't need a tone. You just go straight through. I like the they way you think, Stormy. They say it's too much trouble. They say it's too okay. much trouble. What you got? What you have got to, to blow up the mountain with? I got some dynamite. I got some blasting caps. I got some detonators. Well, we, we got some more dynamite and hope. Okay. <laughs> All right, hope. We're gonna I hope <laughs> that your expertise will help us accomplish this goal for these I can boys. Help. I can tell you how to do it. I've been thinking it through in my head the whole time we was going through the mountain. Really? How do you bring the mountain down? Well, you could, it's it's called an induction flume. I'm right. That's what we that. was thinking. Right. It's an induction flume. You know, an induction used... foom. Yes. <laughs> foom, yeah. They, they used to call that rumbling mountain. It'd rumble all by itself. Huh. It's, it's seismically unstable. And so you can, you can take advantage of that. Uh-huh. When a mountain is seismically <laughs> unstable. Stormy, this, I like you more and more. Every this this is a face speak. of growing regret. 
at the same not time, here. Elijah's just getting a grin on his face, like, yeah. okay, I really like this guy. Right? <laughs> okay, well then. Uh, we got to be quiet. Those, those coming cars, they're going to be coming around here. They, The whole camp, every 20 minutes, they're going to be coming around here. Now, sometimes they drink. Sometimes they get off and they do their own thing. They always come around. What do they do when they come around? They just look in, drive away? They just look in. They just looking in. They just circling. They on okay. they on shifts. They just making sure ain't nobody running off like that Percy Ray Poovy did. Yeah. He was on yeah. my team. He couldn't take it. Yeah. Well, you're a hard driving man, I hear. Oh, I just yeah. It's gonna blow. It's gonna diligent blow. in your efforts. <laughs> well, I tell you what. Um, why don't you sh show us how to do that? And a few of my compatriots here. Well, uh, how far back are the men going to need to be for your plan to take effect? For my plan to take effect? <laughs> they, That's right. Well, <laughs> They're going to need to be cleared right off this, this hillside. Now, you They're know gonna what? Have, we... They're going to need to make their own bridge to get across the wild eddy themselves. Okay. Can we maybe, like, you know, just, <laughs> just, just take it maybe. down just a little bit so we don't have to cross a bridge that doesn't exist? Go big or go home, baby. They can, they can swim. The men can swim. Well, now okay. here's the thing, though. We don't actually want to clear the tunnel so far that the mountain comes down because okay. then they will just have access like they want. Oh, okay. okay. Right? We want to create oh, no. more work for you in the future, so we just want to cause a good cave-in, a big delay. Biggest explosion? More explosions. I, I will take this yep. into account. Yeah, you know, it's like well, a, it's like a, it's like a good jug of moonshine. You know, mm -hmm. you can drink, you can Just drink the whole thing at once. Or sip on it. There you go. Enjoy See? it over at Eve. Whew. Just spread out at the kit, okay? So now, are there some Kramer Holt men in the woods surrounding us right now? I ain't. We so beat down. They ain't sending any Kramer Holts here in a while. Okay. It's just the company guards. And and the company guards are they gonna flee with us, or are we gonna need to? situate them a different way it, if they they scabs if they die they die i'm not doing this for no love the big one i'm doing this for love of explosions i don't sure sure and, and well, know, why if, wouldn't if i haven't you? emphasized yeah. that enough oh I, nah. I got it and and tell you you're you're evangelizing right here stormy i i am i am on board i get the color of your corn son i, <laughs> I understand okay well I like you, Stormy. How many of them uh, scabs are surrounding the camp right now? There's usually uh, a couple of dozen guards here, but only maybe six of them be active one six time. Six guards. And if your men start evacuating the camp, they're going to follow, right? If Yeah, if, uh, if folks just start running off, they're going to start shooting at them. They'll well, shoot at them. They've bowled, but they've... They'd be the first ones running full bloody bones or Tommy Rawhead came out. Well, yeah, they've been singing out the tunnel for for a few days now. Yeah, I, I heard it. seen no side of them. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. You get your stuff ready. Here, you take this extra dynamite, too, and uh, let me get with my, my people, and we'll figure out exactly how we're going to handle these company men, and we're going to make this happen right now, tonight. Okay. Okay, Fly. let's do it. I'll get my team together. All right. We'll hold you to that. All right. I'm so. actually trying to join Stormy's team since I'm dressed for it. <laughs> okay. Streaming. Yeah, so, like, uh, Jubilee sort of sort of comes in and, like, volunteering to be yep, with Stormy. exactly. Okay. Exactly. He looks this at is you. where the explosions are. You see that like you look a little odd. You look yeah. a little off with your with your high waters. Yeah. And so you're one of his men. He look right. he likes other eccentrics. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you fit so, right in here, uh, kid. Stormy, uh, he's thrilled. He's never been this excited in his life before. He just wants to make a huge explosion. He thinks he can control it. He thinks he can send a, a landslide uh, right down the mountain, and he says. Um, Let's sneak off. Let's put it together. 
I already hear the men. They're in a panic. We will clear that camp with a single word. And then we'll do it. All right. So he looks at you, Minnie. He says, my men are afraid to go into this tunnel. Those worms, we've been battling them. They're tired. We're sick. And he's sort of coughing as he's saying it. He says, I need you to, like, where they're going to deploy, I need you to go in there and fight off those worms. Right? To you, Elijah, if anybody comes to the mouth of that, that tunnel, you need to keep them out of there. No one's getting near the mouth of this tunnel. Okay. Don't you worry about it, Stormy. I like you. All right, so... <laughs> and he doesn't say that to anybody. <laughs> right. So yeah, we're going to run this as, as quick encounters, just to, to narrativize and, and move through the action. And Minnie, he sends you in there with his, his team. Jubilee's going in there at first with you guys as well to deploy. Uh, they're having to climb up the walls and do a little bit of repelling to put some things uh, on the, um, the roof of the tunnel, right? And as you're going in, like you hear this little rumbling in the earth, these little fat pig-like slugs pop out around your feet. The workers sort of shriek back. What do you do? We can take care of it with a single fighting roll. As, as um, well, I think I'm going to drink my moonshine first, right? <laughs> All right. Yeah, that boom. Gets... What are you going to boost? She just gets knocked uh, out. <laughs> if I'm going to use fighting, probably fighting. Um, but vigor roll first, right? Or you just let's just let's just boost your fighting. You just Boone made some good stuff. Oh, it's but it's just so it's much funnier if she went blind. Yep. <laughs> so I don't need to, I don't need to do the vigor roll. Okay. Let's let's do it just to see. Okay. <laughs> and it was a spirit roll anyway, right? Like, oh, is it spirit? Yeah. That's what I was wondering. Vigor. Yeah. It's spirit. Okay. Uh, I succeeded. Okay. So you retain full vision. 20, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the little fat pig-like slugs are popping up all around you. Men shrieking away. Jubilee's scared, too. Jubilee gets real scared. I am. In this situation. <laughs> How do you take them out? Um, I think I'm going to be trying to smash them into the ground because I really wanted to smash those other bugs, and I was not able to. So in any way that I can squish them, you know, I mean, maybe you two hands be- squishing, punching them into the ground. Mini is just like uh, it's like Stormy, except for punching worms. Exactly. <laughs> and you wanted to punch Stormy, but he was too frail. And so yeah. Thought you were going to get to have yeah. this big fight and show off. So yeah, um, Mini just sort of brings her fist down over and over, boom, 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 on a worm, squelching, splattering. She's hitting it with her clawed hopper boots or heel topper boots. Um, and there's just viscera exploding everywhere. <laughs> Jubilee, you feel a little weak in the knees. <laughs> Jubilee, right? Uh, but you're you're taking them as they come, and waves keep coming. The men move through. Uh, they're deploying uh, the dynamite in various places. They're stringing back the fuses. Um, the well, let's see. Wire. We got to see that fighting roll. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I want to oh. see a crit fail. I thought I'd get away with it. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> We don't know what happened. What is That's that? right. <laughs> <laughs> now it's going to be a current power watch. Oh, did it go? No. There it so goes. goes. Oh, it went twice. Oh. Well, the first one's a seven, right? Yeah. But you bettied that, of course. To get did you, uh, did you, is that your boosted fighting? Yep. Yeah. All right. That's pretty so, good. That's a race. Yep. That ain't fighting. That. That's making paste. That's <laughs> a <right>. paste. <laughs> so... I, I, I trampled over your narration, so do some narration. How, you How can I talk that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, men, stand back. Let me handle this. <laughs> and try not to piss your pants as I show you something you've never seen before. And I'm just kind of smashing them left and right. I'm doing twirls and spins. I'm really agile, too, so I'm, I'm not just brute forcing this. I'm also doing a little bit of a twirl as I do it. <laughs> And um, flat foot. Yeah, and and <laughs> one one go comes up to get Jubilee, and I kind of like push Jubilee out of the way, and and then I squish it right in front of him, and gets all over him. <laughs> and then I go. 
I, I didn't piss my pants. Luckily, I'm wearing that other feller's pants. <laughs> oh, okay. Smart. Adjacent. Yeah. That sounds like a Benny to me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, yeah. it's a very yeah. graceful, brutal beating. <laughs> Lovely. It's operatic. It's, it's, a, it's a kind yeah. of poetry. Yes. Of That's just violence. heaven right there. Yes. <laughs> operatic violence. Yeah. Let me save all the men and brutally take out these nasty little worm creatures. There you go. Nicely done. This is everywhere. It's covering your borrowed clothes. <laughs> Jubilee. I love it. it if I you love have it. your banjo on your back, I do. Those are going to sound a little funny. Okay. When you play, mm. maybe a little underwater. A little underwater. <laughs> right. um, so they're deploying. Mini Mace fighting through. Jubilee is there. Elijah, you're outside the tunnel. You've heard about these vaunted company guards. Um, company you, guards. You haven't seen them, right? You see, like, six of them coming up together. Half dozen. They're, they're sharing a flask among themselves, right? They're passing it back. They're sort of joking. They're sort of making fun of the Bloody Bone song they've been hearing. They're singing it, but they're inserting, <laughs> like, weird lyrics. You know, they're just, like, mocking it. Um, we're going to build this bridge. It's going to go straight over the ridge. I can't sleep because I get bitten by a midge. Right? And so it's just this <laughs> pouring, pouring back and forth. But then they see you. They see you. They're like, this. is that a gray uniform? That ain't gray uniform. Looks like a big son of a gun. It is a big son of a gun. Right, and one of them pulls up a shotgun, and the other one just comes running. the The other five just come running towards you. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm using fighting, right? To oh, yeah. to uh, this is this is my moment, and I'm like, look, I got no control over what you're gonna do. I got no control over what I'm gonna do. <laughs> We're all just pawns running around on someone else's chessboard, and then I start knocking heads and <laughs> like impressively existential. <laughs> <laughs> so should I roll my fighting? Yeah, roll your fighting. Okay. I'll let you roll this time. Don't forget your uh, your boost. Oh yeah, my boost. I boost my fighting. So so hold on, let me roll that again. D10. Yes, please. <laughs> There we go. All right. I am going to spend a Benny just because. There you go. Get him, Tracy. <laughs> and then we'll roll fighting again. Come on. Big, no. big number. One you more. have lots of bennies. You have lots of bennies. One more. You can I'm do spend it. One more. You can do it. We want to see carnage. Oh, I do too. <laughs> No! Oh. I'm doing it one more time! Ah. Come on! <sighs> oh. Give me an idea for a song. <laughs> to me one more time. <laughs> fighting, fighting. Come on! There we go! Hey. Hey. So I'm knocking heads. I'm, I'm you know, uh, uh, just uh, pummeling with my huge fists. <laughs> You know, I've got, it's, it's, it's huge muscles. I mean, I am ripped and big, and uh, I don't really have to punch. I really just sort of manhandle them into submission. Yeah. At the bottom of that tunnel lies one hell of a man. <laughs> one hell of a man. Maybe some dual forearm shivers, just like, bam. You hit me, I hit you, what's it matter? We're all going to die someday. <laughs> <laughs> might as well yeah so elijah's just like busting through these guys like knocking them out you see one elijah falls to the ground hits his head on a rock there's like a sick crack but you don't care you're sort of like i'm in the zone as you go. <laughs> you're in the zone you're just moving through i'm uh, mowing through company man what could yeah. be greater uh <laughs> We can can't abide that. no company, man. We can edit that. Knocked out my microphone. Like a, man, <laughs> a man's head and smashing it into your knee. Just plowing through. 
right? <laughs> and then you run forward like five yards. The last dude standing there with the shotgun, he's done fired it off like a couple of times and just maybe <laughs> sprayed some of his compatriots. Hasn't hit anything else. And you just take it out of his hand, give him a shot with the butt. He goes down. And you're just standing there. looking around. Silent, you know. So, yeah, silent. it's a shame. This is, this is just what you do. This is what this I do. This is what you do. <laughs> okay, so, Minnie, you've cut through those worms, right? Um, they have the explosives at the point that they want the explosives. You're coming back out of the tunnel. Jubilee, you're covered with viscera. <laughs> you're following behind. <laughs> <laughs> your banjo is with you're welcome. Why you for this? <laughs> you're um, welcome. You have you have ferried everyone to safety, many may. Uh, Jubilee, you turn around and just look back and like, we did that. We we really did that. I didn't do anything, <laughs> but many may did that, right? And then you hear that little echo. They call me old bloody bones. Got <laughs> blown halfway to the sky. I'll never get home. They call me Tommy Rawhead. Woke up one morning and I was dead. And then you see them come out of the shadows, Whoa. right? And, and Bloody Bones has his skull in his hand, strips of flesh hanging from his skeleton, and he's flat footing a little bit. He's just dancing and he's singing. And then you see Tommy Rawhead. He looks like a hulk of a man, sort of like Elijah, just all his skin has been stripped off and he's just as red and bloody and beating and as pulsing as you can imagine, right? Bloody Bones is singing, flat footing, and then Tommy Rawhead is sort of lumbering towards you. What do you do? Is this fear roll territory? It would be. <laughs> we, <laughs> definitely, they both have like fear, like minus, yeah. plus yeah. two, minus two. <laughs> Jubal let Jubilee sing a song. Hey, Daryl. Yeah. Yeah. Real, real quick, Daryl. Before you do, as I walk by carry it, helping carry all the dynamite and plungers and stuff, I'm going to be, Jubilee, you got worm guts all over you. <laughs> <laughs> that like was to meant to be. Yeah. It was yeah. all yeah. meant to be. Let yeah. Jubilee be Jubilee. Right, well, exactly. So, like, and yeah, there's this moment, you know, where the, the terror gets to him, and he's freezing, and there's nothing happening. But, you know, like, you know, you're... you're you shake me out of it by telling me there's worm guts all over me. He's like, right. Like, I pull that out, and like, I'm shaking the, the guts off my banjo. And I'm like, wait, I can, I can play. Like, they're, they're singing, they're dancing, they're coming at me. It's got to be like a battle of the bands thing. So, like, I play a couple mm -hmm. tentative notes and see what the effect is, and then it's going to get stronger. And I'm going to play more and more. Worms underfoot and rocks overhead. You better run for your life or you're gonna be dead. <laughs> <laughs> you got no skin, you got no face. Never dynamite's lit, so it's gonna be a race. Y'all get now, you hear? And I'm just gonna run like hell. <laughs> oh my god. Roll the precision roll. Yeah, yeah. Performance, roll. Yeah, yeah. Performance, yeah. Six. I got a Benny. I'm going to try again. Yeah. Six. I got one more. Oh, Woo! 21! Oh, there it is. <laughs> I don't know Woo! if what I just did deserves a 21, but I'll take it. <laughs> Completely deserves a 21. So that's a, that's a, a few raises there. Uh, so... Bloody Bones is doing his singing. Tommy Raw, Rawhead is dancing, and you do that little spin off, and they just stop. Bloody Bones holds up his skull, sort of throws it to the side. It clutters down next to your foot. Rawhead looks at Bloody Bones. Bloody Bones looks back at Rawhead. Bloody Bones starts singing. We ain't got to worry about no worms. <laughs> <laughs> We're dead and quite infirm. <laughs> We're very glad to meet you, sir. <laughs> they turn. They walk back into the tunnel. Hey! So, Boone, 
you're out there. Y'all, like, he's run the wire 100 yards out. Elijah, uh, Jubilee, Minnie, y'all all know y'all need to get out of the tunnel because y'all know Boone and Stormy are up to it and that yeah. it's going to blow. And somebody's going to need to stop. Jubilee, this is probably going to be you. <laughs> and, and, and declare something in an attempt to clear the camp. We'll make it a roll, and we'll see how many folks take this, and then we'll move on to what happens between Boone and Stone. Yeah, I think I am just running out. You know, it's like they're here. It's time! It's time! Now's the time! time. time. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm gonna into the world. The mountain's coming down. Get out of here! (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna support with my with with doing the same thing, but uh, (laughs) being me, I'm trying to say if he's scared. Oh my God! We gotta get out of here. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Trust me, I'm scared. This is my scared face. Okay. Can I'm I? Doing my best. Can I assist too? And I'm gonna say, and any of you guys who stay here, I'm just gonna kick the living crap out of you. So you, you're screwed whether you stay or go. And I'm gonna try to intimidate them out there. And I think to myself, go, yeah, Josh. I should have done that, but I did not. <laughs> That's She's awesome. like dripping with worm guts. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that helps. So Elijah's support roll, and then mini support roll, and we'll see. With performance, because uh, you know I'm untrained. Is that is that cool? <laughs> That's cool. All right. Maybe you'll have your Oscar moment, no. Elijah. No. You do, not. <laughs> you wanna, do you want to Benny that? No, because I'm terrible at this. I yeah. can't. I just can't convince myself that right. I'm scared. And, and, and I love that it's literally just stone face. Like this is my scared face. Yeah, this is my scared <laughs> face. You see this? I'm like, terrified. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you better run because I'm real scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Elijah says that it seems to have no effect. Like the men are just sort of looking at him and like trying to take him in. They see like six dead bodies. They're just, <laughs> they're worried. They're concerned. They're, they're a little stunned. <laughs> Min- Minnie. All right. Like I said, if you don't want to catch a beating, get on out of here. <laughs> I got a five. Right. You got bennies. Yeah, I was going to say, I, could, I should probably buy Mm, one more. One more. Come on. Come on. Let's get a big oh, one. Oh, worse. One well, more. one success. One okay. okay. So, plus one. So, okay. Plus one. Plus one. All right. Persuasion time. It's like the whole mountain's coming down and the ghosts are coming with it. Get out of here. <laughs> the guards are already down. Ooh, Ooh, nice with the plus one. one, that's eight. Yay! Yay! So you got to raise. Um, these men have been beaten down. They're at their wits' <laughs> end. They were almost ready to revolt and rebel themselves, right? Before you guys showed up, you sort of pushed them over the edge. You see them all humping down the mountain. You hear this chorus of coughs coming up. Jubilee, you're like, some of these guys ain't even going to make it to the river. They don't make it. But at least we gave them a chance. Right. Some of them will. Some of them will. Some will come out on the other side. Right? Um, so Jubilee, you declare. Now, and y'all start running back up to <coughs> Stormy and Boone, our position. Out, about 100 yards away, they got the detonating wire running all the way up there. These, these four uh, plungers. And Stormy looks at you, Boone, and he says, This plunger, this plunger, this plunger, and then this plunger. Right, and then he gives like this enormous cough, right? And he's going over um, to one of the plungers and he's like taking some wires and moving some wires to another plunger that we're at plunger one. He's moving to plunger two. From plunger one wires, going to plunger four, plunger three wires, going to plunger one. And he says, You gotta do it just right. And then he's like, No, 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 that's not it. Like this. And then he shows you another order. Right. And then there's this enormous cough, like this frail little man, just coughing, coughing, hunching over. He cups his hands, holds them in this slug. It's not the size of a little slug. It is not the size of a pig. It is somewhere in between. <laughs> Comes out. Hey, this kitten. 
and then falls to the ground. Mm. And you're boom. So they're running. You see your friends running towards you to get away. You see the man going down the hill. These men desert in camp. Like, they're going to run into somebody. This, you know uh, Elijah took out a few guards, but there could be more guards coming. Right? What do you do, bro? Okay, so he's not recovering in time, right? Doesn't look that way. You, you take a look at this man. He does not seem to be respiring <laughs> anymore. He seems to be done with breathing. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't a worm that came out. That was his lung. <laughs> <laughs> it was pulpy. It was pulpy. Whatever came out was real pulpy. Okay, well, my first instinct, right, is I run. <laughs> so <laughs> I run about 15 feet. <laughs> Jump on G, hold so fast. And then I turn around and I'm like, this of number four to the number three to the one to the. Oh, hell. Or something. All right. <laughs> Just throw his body on all of them at the same time so they all. You're <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I do something, something smarter than I just did. <laughs> do, you, do you want to roll uh, repair? I do. Here we go. Well, we'll Benny that one. I got four Bennies. That's one. Whoa! There, there we go. go. There we go. <laughs> Let's hear it for exploding dice, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, Daryl. Yeah. I beat you. So four raises, right? Something like that. Boone, I'm going to let you narrate exactly what the explosion looks like, exactly what it does. If the men are able to outrun it, (laughs) add a little little gloss or two. Like how big, what does Stormy do here? Uh, Okay, so... I got to assume Stormy didn't want to blow himself up. So the, the charges... Yeah. Pardon? The, the induction flume that he talked about that would just run straight out the mouth. That, that, right. And he but, died as he lived, blowing things up. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a... Uh, okay. So we it's managed Part explosion, to... part like uh, funeral. <laughs> <laughs> We, we press all of the plungers at once, me and the other team, and in, in the distant back of the tunnel somewhere, there's just just huge uh, uh, word balloon, Cthoom, right? <laughs> so the, the fellas who plush the other plungers, they're running, right? I pick up Stormy, and I put him under my arm, and come on, old timer, and I'm running, and I'm running, and I'm running, and the walls are collapsing around me, and there's dust, and there's fire, and there's smoke, and there's devil worm pigs falling out of the rocks, and there's two ghosts going. (laughs) (laughs) And just as we get to the tunnel, Stormy drops to his knees, and he he waves me on, and there's no time, so I run. And Stormy turns around and embraces the induction <laughs> flume as it washes over him and envelops him. And it becomes, yeah, like the nuclear like flash, like right. he disintegrates and, in the explosion. And he becomes a part of the explosion. <laughs> and then I run all the way down the hill to the creek where the rest of the guys are, are standing, <sighs> catching my breath. And I look over at Jubilee. <laughs> And I flick a bit of worm guts off his collar. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I was out of pee. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, so you all see this. You see exactly this. Like Stormy vaporized in the explosive cloud. The last thing you see are raw head and bloody bones <laughs> sort of arriving the way of the explosion. And you hear like just a little tiny sound. They call me old bloody ball. <laughs> get more and more distant, right? I'll tip my hat to them as they go. You tip your hat and you realize, Jubilee, like these men died in an explosion to become ghosts. Now that they are ghosts, they have suffered another, far <laughs> larger explosion. <laughs> what kind of ghost might they transform into? And you're just sort of puzzling over that, phys- you know, question of existential 
uh, dread, finality, dread, <laughs> and the nature of spirits. Right, yeah. the nature of spirits, the nature of spirits in the hollow. Right. Um, you look on your work. Seems like most of the, most of the men escaped. You feel as though you've done quite well, and that LMA Hawkins will be proud of the work you've done here. Maybe slightly frightened by the magnitude of what you were able to accomplish. Will it convince the holler folk to join your cause? Will it frighten them and make you make them feel like they need to stay away from you, right? Because you're just too dangerous, too dissident. That's something we would find out later. So the, the, the cultural fallout, the cultural impact. You're dangerous, Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Bain Mountain Tunnel is collapsed. Yeehaw! <laughs> that was great. We yeah. did it. That was fun. That and that's not just the moonshine talking. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. But the moonshine's talking. But the moonshine yeah. helps. <laughs> so, so always. I mean, I want to return to like old Ed and see how his son's doing. Is 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 he dying? Hey Tracy, you know they're not real, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, but I was thinking like Shane's description of the explosion was so on point. Like the next step, there's a couple of things that I had narratively where it could awake a mama mouther, and so the big worm comes out and you ah. fight the big worm, right? Or there's no Mama Mouther, and little Percy comes up with some Kramer Holt agents, and is like, "That's them. That That's what the they're doing." They can't Either one me. would be great. Ooh, I would kick his booty <laughs> so both. hard. Either one or both would be great. Yeah, we'd sick Mini May on him. I would beat the <laughs> the wedding's bleep, off. Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Turn around and drop your pants. <laughs> yeah. Drop so, yeah. your pants. I was going to say the wedding was off the moment he dropped his pants. Yeah. <laughs> so those are my two ideas for the denouement, but honestly, I feel like Shane's explosion was so good. I feel like that might be the place. Oh, Dan, I whatever. don't know. I love your ideas. <laughs> uh, whatever the big mama worm cool. and or, or Percy bringing the, the agents, that would be great. Those you're, are too, great. you're too good, Shane. You're too good. <laughs> But would that mean running a combat at this point? Do we want to do that? Or like, <laughs> it's, yeah, up to, it's, yeah. it's totally up to you. I, I yeah. think I think for this, that's mm -hmm. that's great, right? Yeah, yeah I do too. I think. But that's uh, the yeah, I think uh, I think that's a great way for the GM to have three options, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 But I will tell you what, since my party when I ran it couldn't kill a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Not feeling right. too good about the worm, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> right. No. True. The the other group I ran this for, uh, they they utilized the first thing they did. They took the funny green rocks as soon as they got out of the junkyard, and they wanted to see how much explosive power they had. <laughs> and so they tested it out. It was an impressive amount of explosive power. And so you had characters just like running toward this big worm with the green rock and like a fuse lit and trying to like. Lap the rock, throw it into the yeah. worm's mouth because that's that was totally what we did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this was awesome. Y'all did a fantastic job. I think this yeah. was a really good session. <laughs> I'm just glad uh, you know Tracy got a hold of those before I did because my first step was like, well, I'm a clay eater. I'm gonna lick them and see how. <laughs> oh yeah, do. you're a clay eater, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. I think these are poison. Yeah, no. I was too scared of them. I didn't think I didn't. I mean, I knew they looked like coal, so I guess they they might have been flammable. But it didn't occur to me to think of them as explosive rocks. It just, I was like, oh no, these things are causing this this <laughs> sickness. I don't want to be anywhere near these things. But Same I am your rock. I'm going to take those things away and bury them. You know. Yeah. Great job, y'all. Yeah. Thanks. That was fun. It was fun.